we see quite a few retirees realize that about six to 12 months into retirement, their expenses are a lot less than what they thought. And this sometimes gets them to think, maybe I could have retired a little bit sooner than I actually did. You know, if you're like some of our clients that we help, then you might be ready to retire and excited to move to this next chapter, but you also could be delaying it a little bit because maybe you're a little bit hesitant since it's this strange feeling to stop this work paycheck or stop the business cash flow and then start to just rely on your investments. And you know, you can't blame people for feeling this way because they've never done this retirement thing before. And hopefully we only have to do it one time. So I wanna show you an example plan of a couple. And after a little bit of work, they realize that maybe they've overestimated their expenses in retirement. And it really makes quite a big difference. Just focusing on the expenses. And there are a few specific things that you'll be able to apply to your own plan that can help you more accurately project and, and plan out so that you can really pick the best time to retire for you. A time that's based on uh, not just do I have enough, but it's based on the, the feelings of I'm ready to do it, right? And, and then I'll give you a few tools that you can use too to help more accurately plan out your retirement. Now, if I haven't met you yet, I'm Dave Zoller and I own a retirement planning firm called Streamline Financial with Tim and Luke and Sean. And we created this channel to share some of the strategies that have been working over the past 25 years for our clients so that hopefully it can help you too. So let's start by looking at a few common ways that people estimate their expenses as, as they're beginning to plan their retirement. And then I'll share why there might be a better way. And I'll also give you a few things to think about as you're, you're moving forward in planning your ideal retirement. So way number one is uh, the way that people guess in the beginning at their retirement expenses is by taking their, often they take their salary number from their job and then they just carry that over to retirement and say, that'll be our base expenses in retirement. So I'll pull up this plan here. And as a, a reminder, don't focus on the numbers here and whether they're less or more than, than what you have, the principles and the concepts are gonna apply to your plan too. So for this couple, their salary was 140K per year. So they thought it would be nice to have a plan with their base expenses in retirement being that 140 number. So here's kind of the, the, the base expenses and they were ready to retire because they wanted to spend more time with kids and grandkids but they got discouraged when they started adding some of these what if scenarios or these things that they'd like to spend money on like travel in retirement 20k per year for 10 years and then also he was a golfer he wanted to to finally join a country club and their first thought after looking at this was well, I guess we can't do some of these things that we wanted, or maybe we'll just work a little bit longer so that we can do these things. But after looking at it a little bit more, we were able to find a more accurate number by eliminating two expenses that they're not gonna have in retirement. And then after I show you the, the, the examples, I'll also show you a few other examples that you might not be thinking about. So those two numbers for this couple were payroll taxes, that they're paying about 7.65%. And then that came to about 10K or so per year. And then also they're adding to their 401K, which was almost uh, you know close to 28K. So when you think about it, salary basing expenses on salary didn't quite make much sense, at least their base salary. Their true expenses were closer to $100,000, which maybe people feel silly when including numbers like that in their first draft but they've never done this before. They're really just taking a guess. That's what we have to start somewhere. Taking a guess is a great way, but we also wanna dive in and go deeper and get more accurate numbers. So in reality, in their plan, it made a big, big difference when you adjusted the living expenses. And I have more examples for you coming up, but quick question for you. Do those examples of retirement plans, are those helpful to see some of the details like that and how it, it works? If yes, click the like button so that I know and then I could do more of these kinds of videos. Now, before I get into the other examples too, you might've heard me say, if you've seen any other videos, you might've heard me say that time is more valuable than money, but our time is most valuable if our attention is spent on the right things, right? You know, time and attention spent doom scrolling social media isn't gonna give the same return on investment as say reading a good book will, or maybe taking a walk 
will. And when it comes to planning retirement, in the beginning, our attention might be better spent not on the finding the best investment strategies or maybe the, the best tax strategies in retirement, but it might be spending time and attention on just making sure we have the right, most accurate expense estimates. Now, that seems boring, but we know that it's a good investment of time because we can see the difference it makes on a plan. And that alone can make a big, big difference on the confidence moving into this next stage and then the peace of mind as you get into that retirement stage. Now, here are a few more reasons expenses might go down in retirement, specifically for this couple. And let me pull it up again. That number they were using in the beginning for monthly expenses, it also included $2,000 a month about for mortgage payment and real estate tax. And that's gonna be gone in 10 years. So how does that actually impact the plan? Well, it makes it look a lot better. So for you, think about your mortgage payoff. What's your schedule? How, how much longer is it gonna go into retirement? And then map that out. You know, this couple might realize they don't need a five bedroom house in retirement anymore. And maybe they'll downsize and have more investable assets in the future. If they were to sell it at a later date, they'd see this green number go up. And the great thing about this, what it actually did for them, it's it really opened up a lot of additional opportunity for blessing their family and then also charitable giving that was important to them as well. Now, moving on to a different example, a different couple who was retiring soon, but they also had a few kids in college. And over the past five years, they kept upping how much their monthly expense need is going to be in retirement because their current expenses kept growing and growing, right? But when we ended up segmenting and then categorizing expenses, we realized that there's a lot of family expenses and kid expenses that's not gonna be there in retirement. So it's really not as much as they thought. So the big idea here is to spend time and spend your attention on getting specific about your expenses. A couple tools, mint.com is one way to auto categorize expenses and see what's retirement and what's not. But again, that might take some time investment into getting it right and making sure it's accurate, which I would say, is worth it. And then also there's my favorite new retirement planner, which helps you get specific on expenses and actually shows you kind of the graph uh, that we were looking at a little bit different, but it, you could put a timeline on your mortgage expenses if it's gonna be paid off in 10 or 15 years and how does that impact? You can also change when social security starts to see how that impacts the long-term plan. And I included a link with a video walkthrough from me below if you wanna test that out. Then also save these videos as a next step as you're planning your retirement journey. And then if you're subscribed, I'll see you in next week's video on six investments that you'll never regret. Take care.